two days from now until the bikes will go off to trans transport to Andalusia. We have to start packing, it's about time. And a good friend of mine gave me his uh, Moscow Motor Reckless 40 system, which I will use on the trip. But uh, before I can use it, we have to mount it. So here's this super quick, super dirty, zero bullshit guide on how to mount a Rectus 40 system, brand new out of the box. Included in the bags are the tail bag, eight liter stinger, two of these dry sacks, their center thingy, and one two legs and of course tools and screws. The hardware includes two of those cleats. There is also the option to go with a noblin which is basically one centerpiece to mount the rear end of the Moscow motor bag. I will use the cleats. I already have the cleats installed on my bike from a previous Rectus 40 system I owned. And then the Loctite, there's a Torx wrench and all the, the screws and so on. Installation is super easy. We have the centerpiece. On the centerpiece you can mount the side legs in a wide and narrow position. For the Tenere, I will definitely go with the narrower position. Um, fits the bike a lot better, I think. Those silver things here with the pins to keep them in place go underneath. And there's a foam padding here. You have to take this off. And let me show you. And just put them in here. One, two. Oops. From here on, you just take the leg part, which of course comes with the same holes here. Take one of these washers and one of the screws. Put them in here, add some Loctite to the screw and just screw them in on the narrow setting. There's two tips I can give you here. First, do not try to apply pressure here before you have put something in between the foam and the nut. You will not be able to apply enough pressure to get this baby in. When you have the first one in, do not tighten it fully. First install the other two and then you have all three installed, then tighten those up. And that's it. You successfully mounted your Rectus 40 system, now it's time to get this thing on the bike. Therefore, just open the beaver tail as they call it. You have two straps underneath here which go to the tail section. And down in the legs there is the strap which goes to the passenger foot packs or whatever you have installed there. I will not cover the installation of the cleats because, as I said, I already have them on the bike and the tail section of my bike is not stock. Um, I guess a lot of you guys are running another lighter tail section or tail tidy. So uh, figure out how to mount them there. It's super easy. It's one screw per cleat. On the bike, it's a straightforward thing. Take this thing, put it on the tail section, get the strap out. Put it into the cleat, tighten it up, do the same here. And there you have it. Moscow Model Reckless 40 successful installed from here. It's off to packing. Hope you got something out of this video. Hope it helped you while installing your Moscow Moto system. Those things are awesome. I wouldn't want to go with any other system. I tried the Krieger ones there. It's super good too, but uh, 
I love the Moscow's. They sit more sturdy on the bike, at least I think so. Hope you got something out of this. I would be super happy if you leave a like and subscribe. We will have a lot of more cool stuff coming up soon, especially the trip to Andalusia. And as I mentioned in the previous video, we have three years of riding footage in course in Andalusia on the Canary Islands. I will throw this stuff out in the next weeks. So stay tuned. Hope to see you. For today, I'm out.